Okay, we're joined here by SVSU softball head coach Todd Buckingham. And Todd, can you just give us a little insight on the start of the season? The team's two losses in GLIAC only, had a really good start, solid start down in Florida. Can you just go over that for us, please? Sure. You know, um, one of the things we tried to focus on in the fall in uh, uh, building this particular uh, team this year was to not focus on outcome uh, to focus on process, uh, to get better every day, uh, to value every second of every day. Uh, and I really feel like they're buying into that, and um, it's shown uh, in, in the games that we've played so far. You know, we did have a, a strong showing in, in Florida. You know, last year coming from Florida, we were 4-10. and 10. Uh, This year coming from Florida, 8-3. and three. You know, and it's not because we uh, played a different caliber uh, of uh, of competition, uh, we just had a different mindset, and um, you know, and that mindset is carried over uh, to the beginning of our GLIAC play, and you know, I really truly believe if if the players continue to develop that uh, belief in process over outcome, and to take one pitch at a time, to take one day at a time, you know, we can uh, really expect great things uh, for the rest of the GLIAC play to come. Okay, had some. Adverse conditions for us, to say the least, this year, as has been the case with every school in the area. Um, how has your team kind of overcome that and really uh, set their minds right to have a successful start? Well, you know, the good thing about uh, this team is they are composed primarily of Michigan gals. So, um, you know, I would venture to think if we had a bunch of uh, Florida and Texas kids and then all of a sudden said, hey, we're going to have to go practice indoors for two months, uh, it might be a little bit uh, harder of a sell and a harder of a transition, you know. But like you said, every state or every uh, school in the state of Michigan is dealing with the same thing, you know. So this isn't anything new to these girls. They know in January and February that they're not going to get, uh, you know, quality practice time outside. Uh, yeah. Now, granted, this year was a little bit worse, you know, because yesterday, as a matter of fact, April eighth, we had our first outdoor practice on dirt. You know, we've already played 21 games, you know. So, yeah, it was a little bit more challenging this year. But, you know, I truly, uh, you know, think that's a testament to the uh, mental development of our team. And uh, they're just looking for opportunities to get better, whether it's, you know, in Ryder, whether it's on turf in a football field, whether it's uh, on someone else's field. You know, they don't look at the area in which they're practicing. Uh, they look at the skill set in which they're trying to develop and, you know, that, that is a sign of maturity. You know, we only have one senior uh, in, the, in, in, in position-wise, and then we have another senior uh, in our pitching rotation. You know, but aside from those two, you know, we're still a fairly inexperienced team. Um, but that experience, while it might not be great game-wise, uh, has, has really, you know, they have developed a strong mental experience and a strong mental uh, stability, and I think that's uh, made all the difference as far as handling that adversity and and uh, and being successful with it. So, okay, this week we have a uh, Hillsdale at home today, a couple of games, then we travel to Grand Valley and Fair State over the weekend. Can you just give us a little look into those games coming ahead. I know it's going to be big for us to play at home this afternoon. Yeah. We don't have a lot of them left. Nope. Uh, th I think three after tonight. So just talk a little bit about these upcoming games. It's a big week for us. Um, you know, last year we uh, tried our hardest to get that Hillsdale doubleheader in. We actually went to Hillsdale three times last year to get that doubleheader in because uh, that was a determining factor on whether we were going to make the GLIAC tournament last year. Uh, we had to go down there and sweep. We didn't. Um, so it's a big week for us because we get uh, – to uh, exact a little revenge, if you will, on our own home uh, field, uh, trying to get two uh, quality wins. And, you know, Hillsdale's a very uh, young team. Um, I looked at the roster and looked at the stats, and, and a lot of their big-time impact players this year are freshmen and sophomores, so they're going to be young, they're going to be scrappy. You know, looking at what they've done so far this year, um, they've split with um, a highly ranked team. Uh, they pushed a lot of other uh, highly ranked teams uh, to the brink of – you know, uh, victory. Um, so it's a big challenge for us, but it's great the fact that we're at home uh, and it's going to be beautiful weather. Uh, so we're looking to, you know, uh, protect our home court or home field there. And um, as far as this weekend, this is the first time I've ever been to Ferris or Grand Valley. And I know, you know, we have a lot of youth, a lot of freshmen and sophomores. It's going to be the first time they've ever been. So it's a challenge there. Um, but 
again, if they just take one pitch at a time, one day at a time, we believe it doesn't matter who we play or where we play them. You know, so if we can, you know, end this week 6-0, and 5-1, and 4-2, and two, we're going to look at that as, you know, good process towards our ultimate goal of winning the conference championship. So, All right. Thanks, Todd, and good luck this week. Thanks, sir.